Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Eve. I have been a little MIA, not gonna lie, life has been super crazy. So I wanted to update you guys on kind of what's going on and a very exciting event that's happening today that I'm so excited for. We're getting a puppy. Not me and Alec, unfortunately. Those of you that know, we have two cats and live in a small apartment. And that's another update. We kept thinking we were gonna move and we are now staying in our apartment for another year, which we love our apartment, so we don't really have any complaints about that. We just decided that we wanna wait until after our wedding to buy a house. Um, but anyways, I'm throwing a lot at you guys. Alec's parents, um, the dog Alec grew up with, his name was Riley, he was a Labradoodle. Unfortunately, um, they had to put him down last week and I guess they always say like the best way to get over it, recover, is to get another dog. <laughs> They've been having a really hard time and we all miss him so much. Um, and they have, and then Kristen, Alex's sister, has a Labradoodle as well. So that's, he needs a friend. So that's why they are on their way right now to pick up a new Labradoodle puppy. It's a girl. I think they're gonna go with the name Rosie, but I feel like I shouldn't say that. I guess I'll let you know later if that's not the name which I love that name, that's, um, we almost named Rory Rosie, but I'm glad we named her Rory because she has the spiciest personality and is not, she's sweet to me, but Rory is a bit more fitting. It's a little bit more of a spicy name, I guess. So I thought I would start vlogging so that I can take you guys with me tonight. I have a dermatologist appointment that is like five minutes from Alex's house anyways. Uh, so it works out perfectly that I'm already gonna be going over there. I think my appointment's at like five after work. And then right after that, we'll have dinner with them and play with the puppy. And I'm just so excited. Alec and I want a dog so badly. We just obviously don't have a house and we have the two cats and a lot going on. Like we don't have the capacity to get a puppy right now. So it's also perfect for us that his parents are getting the puppy because it's like ours too. And we can play with it all the time. And we're not like the sole responsible ones so anyways that's why i'm still flying because i'm so excited i'm trying to think of what other quick life updates i can give you guys since i've been a little behind yeah we're staying in our apartment we re-signed our lease uh i went tuck shopping last night with alec which was super fun i did take a few videos of it so i might insert that in here but i really thought we were going to be trying them on and turns out we have to make like another appointment for that but They've got us like on the books, so we're mostly set for that. And we made a decision on my bachelorette party. I mean, honestly, these are all just like wedding updates. I keep saying this, I need to do a whole sit down wedding Q&A because I feel like I just have so many updates on that. So we're gonna get to that. I'm gonna try and make that like my next video after this. Comment below if you guys have any questions or DM me on Instagram, if that's something you're like interested in or what you'd wanna know wedding wise, because we're really getting to the point that I have like almost everything booked. We've got our venues for rehearsal dinner, our showers. Like I just said, bachelorette party is now like booked. I'm so excited. Um, and I'm working on getting my bridesmaids dresses. I just feel like it's all coming together and so real. And I'm like, in a few months, my dress is gonna be delivered, which is like insane. I don't know. Once we got under the year mark, I'm just like, this is going so fast. Like it was a year and then all of a sudden it's 10 months and now it's under 10 months and I'm like, Oh boy, there's a lot going on. So those are my quick little life updates. I miss vlogging and I miss like constantly having life updates out there for you guys. So I'm going to probably this fall be a lot more consistent. It's just summer is insane and we're going up north every single weekend or you know out of town. So that's why I've been a little uh, slower, but yeah, I just thought I'd start vlogging and update you guys. I am just had lunch and I'm drinking a little iced coffee. I might go sit outside because it's super nice. Um, for a little, before I get going to see the puppy. Oh my God, it's literally, the AC's about to be so loud. It's eight million degrees in my car. I just got in the car. I realized I'm gonna make this into like literally three stops. Getting a lot of stuff done. Um, I have been needing to take the cat's uh, poop sample in to their vet. And I keep forgetting 
because I never go the direction of their vet, but my dermatologist and Alex's parents' house is all that way. And so I'm like, I need to remember. So I grabbed a poop sample and I'm gonna go drop that off. And the vet said it's fine if I just bring one because I have no idea which cats is which because they share the litter box. So she said it's fine if I just bring one sample. Okay, let me figure out where I'm going to make sure I actually pass. I'm gonna have to call Alec. <laughs> I think it's mostly on my way, but I'll figure it out. Um, so I'm gonna try and stop there and then go to the dermatologist and then go meet the puppy. Alex's mom and sister have been sending me Snapchat videos all day and she's so cute, I can't wait to meet her. So, okay, no videoing and driving. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Are you not the cutest thing in the whole entire world? Say go down. Do you have to go potty? Hey. Oh my god. She just Oh, she's biting my shoes. Is that what puppies do? Is that what naughty little puppies do? Play with shoes? Hi. Hi. I love you so much. Face is so cute. This is the cutest little yeah, face I've ever seen. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Oh, hi. You probably need to go potty. Oh, there we go. Good girl. Oh, don't video that. Cutie. Cutie. Keeps flopping down. Is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Okay, we're gonna give you a view. Say hi to the camera. Are you gonna come right over and say hi? Say hi. <laughs> oh my goodness. You are a photogenic little girl. Where are your toys? Cause my shoe isn't a toy. My shoe isn't a toy, sweetie. Do not like painting. That's fine. It reminds me of church group. Oh, you think about that? I can't feel like And I had a good friend growing up named Peyton. Your mom said that. They liked it when they said it. Do you have so much energy? I can't wait to take her up north. It's going to be so fun to see her ride and teach her to swim. I think we need a little doggy life jacket. Hello, you guys. No. Okay, it's a bit. It's, what, two days later? I think it is. Thursday now and it is Thursday afternoon and I need a little afternoon pick me up. So I thought I would show you guys what I've been making lately because I am so obsessed it is I used to make matcha all the time and I still love matcha. However, I don't know, this might be even better. So I thought I would show you guys how I make it. It is called blue matcha or like butterfly pea powder is what it's called. I'll link for you guys the exact one that I got. I got it off of Amazon and it was honestly really affordable, especially compared to the matcha that I normally buy, which is um, quite expensive. So I'm gonna make it and you guys have to try it. I literally think this, it was like $15 for this bag um, of it. I got these glasses during Prime Day. I feel like everyone has these glasses. Um, I've seen so many people that have them and I just really wanted a new like iced coffee, iced matcha glass. Hey Rex, good morning. Hey, nice cute. Come in. So that is why I got these, but I'm gonna make it iced. So I just put ice in here. Back you guys up. And then in my frother, I'm gonna do my oat milk. All Target had was this extra creamy one. I really like the like low sugar or no sugar one, but they didn't have it. So we have this extra creamy. Where's the line? And then in my frother, I'm gonna fill it up to the max line. So this is what it looks like. It's from Ancient Choice. 
butterfly pea flower powder. And then I'm gonna do honey and cinnamon. Both of these are just like Target brand. And you have to put the milk in first because otherwise it will all get stuck to the bottom. So I'm just gonna do a little scoop of this. And then some honey and some cinnamon. And then I'm gonna froth it on the cold setting. You definitely could do this all in a cup with just like a hand mixer instead of using that frother, but um, this is easier <laughs> because I have it. I also got these softy straws <laughs> during Prime Day because I typically use like metal straws and I did not like them ever. <laughs> I feel like it made my things taste weird. So I really like these and they're really fun to play with too. I just got a pink pack, but now I wish I had ordered more while they were on sale. Um, while that is frothing though, I also got the most exciting package ever. I literally like shed a tear um, from a brand. So I wanna show you guys because I was actually freaking out. I like cannot believe that they sent this to me. So I'll show you that in a second. Okay, now that it's all mixed up in here, it is such a pretty color, pour it in. Cheers. You guys, it is so good. I did one yesterday with um, like <clears throat> sugar-free like coffee syrup that I have um, that I put in like lattes. I just did like the vanilla and that was super good too. I don't know what's better, that or the honey. The only thing Alec and I can think of to describe it as, which sounds really weird is like the milk left after a bowl of cereal like fruit loops or something it's got kind of like a fruity flavor to it but stronger than that like it doesn't it definitely has a strong flavor i don't know it's so good so you guys need to try it. i haven't tried it hot yet i've just been doing ice as like my afternoon little pick me up but if anyone tries hot let me know i'll have to do it eventually i just love I love it iced, so I don't know if I want to mess with it. Okay, I just got this package out to show you guys. If you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you might have already seen it, but like how beautiful is this packaging? I just am shocked, and it came so quick, like literally overnight. A uh, little bow. You guys, it's so cute. So first of all, they literally wrote me such a cute little card, and I think this is a garment bag, which I'll have to hang the dress up in. And then in here, I kind of didn't put it back in here perfectly. It was like really nice when it first came, is this dress, which I'm like, oh my God, I have no idea when I'm gonna wear this, but I don't know. <laughs> I have to find some time because it is just so beautiful. Like, are you kidding me? Look at, look at all this sparkle. It's like so sparkly, but it does not look cheap. Like it looks so high quality and so nice i think i'm gonna do a try on i don't feel like putting it on right now but i think i'm gonna do a little try on on tiktok so make sure you're following me there if you um want to see a try on i will link my tiktok below and then literally the iconic pajamas i have wanted these for forever but my wedding's still far away so i was like i don't know if i should get them yet if they won't be in style and of course now we have them, the little fluff at the end. I know another company also makes similar pajamas. Um, I think it's like Sleeper, but these from Nadine Morabi. Look at these buttons. Is that not the prettiest button you've ever seen? I'm just obsessed with everything. I did. Rex is obsessed with it too. He keeps trying to attack the uh, fluff. No, sir. I did size up in both of these to a like small slash medium, which I think is like a US 6 and I am normally a 4 and they fit perfectly. I actually first got the pajamas in a size smaller and then 
um, asked if I could go up a size because they didn't quite fit right. They were just a little bit short in the legs and also kind of tight in the legs. And I wanted them a bit more oversized. So I would recommend sizing up if you guys get anything from Nadine Marabi. Um, the dress is also a small smash slash medium and I am like typically an extra small or small in most things. So maybe size up. It was hard because it's like European or UK sizing. Um, so a little different than what I'm used to. Rex, you can't attack it. That's not for you. That's not for you, sir. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys because I'm so excited and it's so beautiful and I will link the, both of these pieces below if you guys are interested. Okay, ignore the mess of a room I have in the background because I'm trying to figure out an outfit for a photo shoot next week, but I just threw on a dress because it is 90 degrees outside right now and I can't wear anything besides dresses. And I'm going to pick up Alex's mom's birthday present. It is her birthday today. And we are going to dinner with her tonight and Alec and I are really behind them today. So I'm going to pick up her birthday present now, so wearing this to go get it, and then I'll just probably wear this to dinner too. I literally need to cool off before driving. It is so hot outside. It's 94 right now, according to my car, which is why I was outside, literally walking from the door of the mall to my car and already sweating. But I got a little, little kind of a very large, gift <laughs> this is a joke oh goodness so alec and i are put this down alec and i are obsessed with ugg blankets i used to be obsessed with the barefoot dreams blanket however these ugg ones are actually better they're so cozy we have a light gray one and I always try and steal it from Alec and I needed to get my own. So I bought myself this tan one and then I bought one for Alec's mom in the dark gray. So that is what is taking up 90% of the space in here. And then I was doing some looking, I really wanted to get her a Lulu fanny pack, but they are sold out everywhere. I don't even understand why. Like I feel like last time I went to the mall, they had a million of them but I couldn't find it. I ended up finding this pullover which is just like a cute little beige color and it's really soft on the inside. I have one from Lulu that's kind of similar. This is from Zella and was on sale at the Nordstrom sale. So I'm gonna go home and wrap that up and get going. I like just made it in the perfect amount of time. I'm gonna be home with the perfect amount of time to go to dinner this bag now. <laughs> I should have waited to buy mine, but I was there and I didn't know when we'd be back and whatever, so. Giant bag, and now we gotta go to dinner. I am so stupid. Bag zipped. Now Alex is vacuuming. We are about to head out to go up north for the weekend. It is Friday afternoon now. Oh my god. I'm tripping over all my stuff. I somehow literally going up for two days always have way too much stuff and Alec and I keep saying that we need to drop off stuff and like leave it there but I always want to bring like cute clothes up and but then I don't want to leave my favorite clothes there but I'm bringing like a super old pair of sneakers and a sweatshirt at least to have something that I can leave there since we're up there all the time um makes sense to just have stuff there and like we have a full closet there we could just leave stuff at but I guess um, in the next few weeks, we're gonna be going to my parents' house, to Holland, um, and maybe won't be up as much in August. We've gone almost every weekend in July, which I'm proud of us for, because it, it's, it's just like a lot of work to, <laughs> a lot of work, because I don't wanna sound like I'm complaining, but like driving three hours Friday afternoon, then you're driving in traffic home on Sunday. So yeah, we've done pretty good, but I'm excited to get up there and to play with the little puppy, Rosie. I don't know if I ever, finally said that that her name is actually Rosie they finally stuck with it after quite a bit of back and forth um so yeah I'm so excited uh they're already up there with her Alex's parents and Kristen and they sent a snapchat of her going in the water uh following Lago I don't know if she had ever been in the water before but it was really cute and she's like somewhat scared but so brave she's a very brave puppy um so yeah I'm excited to go 
hang out with all of them up there and see her experience the cottage for the first time. It's just so cute. But anyways, I wanted to finish off this vlog here so I can edit it on my way up and hopefully get it posted for you guys. I know it's been a bit since I vlogged, but I definitely want to be getting more consistent into the fall. Um, as more wedding stuff is happening too, and I'm working on that, keeping you guys updated, I honestly have not been doing a ton wedding related. If I have, it's definitely on TikTok, um, but nothing like super exciting wedding updates. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and keep you guys more updated, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you wanna see from me, if you want me to do a whole Q&A or yeah. I just wanna make videos that you guys like watching, so. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.